This video will show you how to relubricate Rexnord's PT Select Bearing. Improper lubrication is the number one cause of bearing failure, so understanding how to properly maintain your bearing will help extend service life. Always refer to your manufacturer's instructions for the type of lubrication used and maintenance intervals as a starting point. Since many instructions assume a clean environment and ambient temperatures, they may not be sufficient for your application. The clear method will help you develop a proper lubrication schedule and determine the right amount of lubricant to use regardless of your operating conditions. Why do we call it the clear method? Because you clean, lubricate, examine, adjust, and repeat. Now let's break down each step of the process. The first step in the clear method is clean. Clean the area around the seal prior to lubrication to assist in inspection. Also make sure your grease gun and lube fitting are clean as well. The second step is lubricate. Lubricate the bearing until grease purges from the seal. What you are doing is cleaning old contaminated grease from the bearing. Since all solid housed roller bearing seals are designed to allow grease to exit the bearing, you can be confident you will not damage your bearing seals. Always ensure the grease being added is compatible with the grease inside the bearing. If you have any questions about compatibility, please contact your grease manufacturer. When adding grease to the bearing, you may notice that the operating temperature will rise initially. This is common and after a few hours of operation, it will return to its steady state as excess grease is purged from the bearing. The third step is examine. Examine and evaluate the condition of the purged lubricant. Once grease purges from your bearing, inspect the grease to see if it feels gritty or has any inconsistencies. Here we have five different grease samples. The first is fresh grease, which would represent proper lubrication practices. The second represents moisture contamination as indicated by a milky appearance and water droplets and a thin and loose consistency. Third, we have debris, which presents a gritty feel and indicates contaminants have entered the bearing. Fourth, we have dried out grease with no oil left, which feels like tar, very thick, and has very high viscosity. Lastly, we have overheated grease, which is black in color and has a burnt odor. The fourth step is adjust. Adjust the frequency of lubrication based on the grease condition. If you examine your grease and it looks like anything other than fresh grease, you will need to adjust your lubrication interval. Start out by cutting your interval in half. For example, if you are lubricating your bearings once a month, then modify your schedule to every two weeks. The final step is repeat. Repeat this process until the purge lubricant has little to no contamination and the condition of the grease is like new. By following this method, you will establish the proper lubrication interval and quantity for your bearings, which will ultimately extend bearing service life and increase your system uptime. For full service instructions, visit our website, rexnord.com documentation, or call 1-866-REXNORD. You can also download our Bearing Mobile Pro app for Apple and Android devices.